hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm going to show you how to go from this drab daytime look to a very nice evening look which is this one so stay tuned <music> that we're going to do is to define our eye eyebrows by applying concealer above our eyebrow and also below our eyebrow and the concealer that you use should be a few shades lighter so that your eyebrows can be more visible in the evening and the concealer in question that i'm using is the maybelline fit me uh, concealer in the shade caramel so that's the one i'm using for this particular step after applying you have to make sure that you've blended it well Eyeshadow and the eyeshadow that I'm using is from the I Heart Revolution Turkish Delight palette, and the shade is a pink shade, and that's the shade Roses. So I'm applying it all over my eye, so it's going to serve as a base color. Remember, the daytime look did not have any eyeshadow, so it's not an issue. If you want, you can also apply concealer before you apply the eyeshadow, but I just chose to apply um, the eyeshadow. And then next, we're going to use the color Squidge. So the color that I'm applying in the inner corner of my eye is the color squidge and then I'm blending it all out. And because this is an evening look, we cannot forget the glitters and the glitters are still from the same eyeshadow palette, which is the shade lemon. So those are just like yellowish greenish glitters. Uh, it's always good sometimes to contrast your colors. You don't always have to color match your stuff. Um, definitely in the evening you have to apply glitters and I've just randomly applied glitters in the middle of the eye. So after doing our eyes we are going to apply a brightening powder under our, our eyes and the brightening powder that I'm using is the Sasha Buttercup brightening powder. When I was using the first makeup look I did not apply any brightening powder under my eyes. After applying our brightening powder, we want to now do foundation because this makeup look, the previous one that I had, actually had a very light coverage foundation. So now we want to go for a full coverage foundation. And in this case, I'm using the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Powder Foundation in the shade Warm Coconut. Um, it's just easier to apply than a cream foundation because cream foundations involve uh, beauty blenders and all that. looking snatched i'm just going to add a bit of blush the previous makeup look had some blush and highlighter so i'm just going to add just a little bit of blush and i'm using the crayola lip and cheek color in the shade strawberry so after applying that we have put on our lashes as you guys can see um it's best to wear lashes in the evening because yeah you basically won't be being seen in dim light yeah and then uh, I'm just using a mascara and I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Mascara in the shade 100% Black. So yeah, and then now it's time for lipstick. Basically our look is done, literally 5 minutes. And the lipstick that I'm using is the Revlon High Shine Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish. And this one is in the shade uh, So Shady. So the one that I've applied, uh, the dark one was so shady and this one, this one is also a Revlon Ultra HD and the second one is also She's on Fire. And then now we are going to do our, our highlighter and the highlighter in question that I'm using is NYX High Glass Illuminating Powder and this is the shade Golden Hour. It just has like a really, really nice natural hue but in the evening it does shine so nice, yeah. And then we are going to do contour and the contour that I always use is the Makeup Revolution called uh, Mega Bronzer in the shade Dark which is number 4. And I'm just going to apply it like in those areas that you're seeing. Kind of just not to make my face so clean. Yeah. And guys basically the look is done. It's literally 5 minutes of upgrading. 
Thanks for the workout. Hey, yo, 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 yo. That wasn't the workout. That wasn't the workout. That was the pre-warmer to get you ready for the warmer, to get you ready for the pre-workout, followed by the workout, which precedes the post-workout. I swear the life I'm living ain't the life I want. I want to change the world. Don't know where to start. I